Hi! You might have tried LT Spice and found out that it looks ugly and outdated and you just couldn't use it because it's not up to your standards. Well one way to make your life better with LT Spice is by using shortcut keys or even better, making custom shortcut keys. So go to simulation and then control panel or just click the hammer. Now go to drafting options and select hotkeys. In this display, the various hotkeys of LT Spice are visible for the different tasks LT Spice does, like making schematics, symbols, looking at waveforms, and working with netlists. For now, the biggest hurdle is often the schematic editor. As you can see, it relies a lot of the usage of the function keys. Even something simple as undoing an action is bound to F9, and to make it worse, you have to stretch to Shift to redo an action. I'm now going to take you through this list and change the ones that we use the most to something more logical. Of course, feel free to choose your own keys. This is just what's comfortable to me. First, the place symbol key. This opens the window that lets you add all the symbols available to LT Spice. I use U for this. For drawing wires, I use N or NET because that's what's used in KiCad. So that's what I'm used to. Of course, you could also set it to W. The net name is the label function, which gives nodes and nets in the schematic a reference. I set it to an arbitrary M, but if the N is still available to you, it would be logical to change it to that. Delete mode is something I don't bother with, because the delete key does exactly the same. Same with the duplicate shortcut, because Ctrl C does that too. For moving and grabbing, I usually don't use a shortcut. Now undo will just be set to Ctrl Z, like all applications do it, and redo will be Ctrl Y. I leave place comments at T and the same for Spice Directive. Now the next two will let you toggle between showing or hiding the connection markers of pins and text. I rather unbind these, so when you accidentally press these keys, you won't have to find out how to undo it. Now the shortcut keys for placing ground and the passive components to diodes are just perfect. Getting used to these will really speed up your drawings. Now the next four are for drawing graphical elements in a schematic. This is usually something you rarely do, so a shortcut isn't really needed. I don't bother with reset and grid, but the rotate key is very important to know when making schematics. I leave that one like it is. Zooming can be done with a scroll wheel, so I don't bother with these two either. Now a game changer for me was setting the start simulation to spacebar. So when you set everything up, you just have to slam the spacebar and the simulation starts. And the remainder of the shortcuts I don't bother with. I hope these shortcuts will make your time at LT Spice a little better. Please like and subscribe if this video was useful and see you in the next one. Bye!